Welcome back to the Caribou Daily Science Channel. It is uh, Sunday, November 22nd. It's early afternoon. And before we get started here, before I run my uh, my report for Spain, I have one I have one request. That's to be if you click on the description and then click on that buy me a coffee uh, link in the bottom and, and donate a few bucks to buy me a cup of coffee. I would really appreciate that. Also, you know, if, if you haven't done so already, go ahead, click the subscribe button. Also, click the bell next to the subscribe button. You should be notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at the uh, Spain. Let's see anything new as far as Spain COVID ID news. These are all day old. Okay. Spain, Spain vaccination plan, UK cases level off. Uh, COVID 19 daily bulletin. Let's see. Spanish nurses witness grim solitude of, uh, of COVID 19. Okay, for, for Nurse Martha Fernandez, the fall resurgence of COVID-19 in Spain has been less traumatic in medical terms than during the uh, and during the initial spring outbreak. But seeing her patients die in, the, in Barcelona Hospital, where where she works, without visits from family or friends, that's true. But Okay, and the problem is, of course, Spain's numbers really are not looking particularly good. So let's go ahead and run this report and see exactly what's going on in Spain. Okay, Spain is averaging 4 to 4,760 cases per day, and about 130 deaths. If we take a look at the mortality rate, this is, these are... This is a low as or fitted curve, sort of like a moving average. And you can see currently the, the mortality rate is about 2%, which isn't too bad, although it is above the average. Uh, and now the reason this looks a little, a little funky is because, because of the, the way Spain records numbers. They, they don't actually record a number for Saturday and Sunday. They add the Saturday and Sunday numbers onto, onto, Monday, onto Monday's numbers, which gives a lot of volatility. So this, this is sort of the underlying trend of Spain. You can see uh, the cases are falling in Spain, interesting enough. Okay. But deaths continue to rise. Okay. Rise up to China on average of about uh, 402 deaths per day. You can see once again the, the cases are declining. But deaths are, in are increasing. Okay. Uh, once again, two weeks of decline. One, two, three, two weeks of decline in case, weekly cases. And deaths back down to about 2,000 a week. You know, which is down from this number here, interestingly enough. In cases like Spain, weekly and monthly numbers are probably a better barometer than uh, than daily due to the volatility of how they record data. So in any cases, well, unfortunately, November's cases will certainly pass October's cases. Deaths have already passed October's deaths, and it's a second analysis. Deaths are the, for November are the second highest month so far with a week to go. So Spain's numbers, well, Deaths did decline from three weeks ago, okay? Death, cases have declined. So this this is kind of unusual that the cases are declining, but deaths are not, okay? So anyway, this takes care of the report for Spain. Hope this is helpful to you. If, you. if you're in Spain or you know someone in Spain, go ahead and share this report with them. That way they can, they can, they can hopefully get the straight numbers without all the political hype behind it. Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you on the next report. <clears throat> and we'll move on to the uh, Israel numbers just one moment here. Because we'll, in this report, we're going to do Israel. Uh, and Pakistan 
do you want to do someone else also? So we got here now. Israel's sick. I got Israel's COVID 19 numbers. COVID 19 news. Okay. Israel trying to sign with, with most COVID 19 vaccine companies. 20% of returning Israeli traders from Turkey test positive for COVID 19. Coronavirus Israel Live. As cases rise, virus are one's biggest challenge is the Arab communities. Okay. As cases rise. Okay, so, th so they're saying this. So what we should be seeing here now is a rise in cases. Of course, they probably neglect to mention that that cases of this have been de have been declining. Let's just see something here. Not that I don't trust the government, uh, but uh, okay. As you can one thing you can see here, the issue was only averaging one thousand and ten cases per day per day, but only eight point five to nine deaths per day. Look at the mortality rate. You can see its mortality rate has fallen back down below average, down below 1%. Interesting. Deaths. Cases, as you can see, have fallen. Now they appear to be leveling off. Okay. There's still, this number still is low, if not a little bit lower than, than the number back here in, in July. Okay. Deaths by date. Well, deaths are continuing to decline. It may be starting to trend back another way. Okay. But there is a huge trend down in deaths. This appears to be leveling off. But, of course, as always, the, 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 the politician, news media, neglects to mention that we had this long period of decline. I neglect to mention that this that this number is as low as it was back in all, back in July. Okay. Death, so this is this is the uh, zoom in to July for, for uh, deaths. It is a little above this number here. This is ten. So this is probably like five. Okay. Which means this is the the deaths are the daily deaths are as low. As they have been uh, since since mid July. Okay, you can see here we had a huge drop off in cases, a huge drop off in cases. Okay, this is like five thousand cases here, compared to where it was back over here. Okay, deaths, one, two, three, four straight weeks of decline in deaths in Israel. Uh, that's a, you know to me the news is still incredibly encouraging. Weekly day, weekly cases are down, and weekly deaths are declining. Okay, if, if we look at the uh, totals by month, you see that November will not catch October. It may not even catch August deaths. Okay, I'm sorry. This is cases. Cases may not catch the. Cases may not catch August cases. Deaths, but November deaths certainly will not catch October deaths. And it may not even catch August deaths. So to me, the news is incredibly encouraging, continuing for, for Israel. God continues to watch over his people and his country. Okay? If you're so, so if you. If you know some, if you know it, if you if you know someone in Israel, share the support with them so they can get the straight numbers, without all the political and the, and, the, and the news hype on it. Okay, because Israel is doing very well, and we have to make sure that the people in Israel actually know this. All right, 
I actually know this. Okay, that takes care of Israel for today. What shall we do next? Uh, for, for next, we're going to come over here. I want to on this. So next is Israel. Yeah, so next, let's do Pakistan. I guess it's next on our hit parade. Okay, so let's move over to Pakistan. I think, I think Pakistan should be the next one. Okay. You know what I may do? This is a bonus feature. I may, since the, since the UK seems to be crowing about their about their little numbers, we'll we'll run a report on the UK and see exactly what's going on. Okay. So here we go. So let's go ahead and run this report for Israel or for Pakistan. Pakistan has has far, far in a long period of decline in cases and deaths. They have been seeing some increase the last couple of weeks. So they currently only remember Pakistan's over 200 million people, so they're only averaging uh, 1,158 cases per day and only 28, uh, only 24 deaths per day. The mortality rate is 4.2 percent. So if, if these numbers are correct, look at how many days. The uh, Pakistan's mortality rate has been below average. Oh, this isn't good. This is definitely a huge spike back up here in cases in Pakistan. They're approaching the they're approaching the halfway mark between this number and this number. Okay. Deaths. Oh man, are also starting to spike back up. Zoom in. Zoom in. You can see after this long period of decline, we've had four straight weeks increases in cases. Then you had this huge spike here, but all the rest of the time it's been down here. So you can see that November's case was a week to go is in one, one, two, three, fourth place. Okay. Those are cases. Deaths have already passed these three here. Uh, probably will not catch this number here, so wind up so the to the deaths will wind up rating one, two, three, and four. November will be the fourth month, the fourth highest month. Okay. So that takes care of Pakistan. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and add a report for uh, for the UK. Let's check and make sure I don't have or I already have a uh, report for the UK.
Okay. Let's create, let's create a renew. Let's create. Let's create a new repository. Let's call it Great Britain. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Let's come back over here now. You notice I always like to use GitHub to manage all my data with, all right? For one reason, that you, you have access to your data wherever, whatever system you're on. And two, it just makes it much easier to uh, to manage the code even on, on the desktop. Because you see here, all my COVID-19 cases begin with COVID-19. That way, if I, if I look at a directory listing, they'll all be in one section. Now I'm actually going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going. I'm just going to take the. Uh, just going to take the. Uh, I'm just going to take the code here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So let's come down here. Countries. So, what is it for? Uh, let's just try UK. Okay, so let's try. Okay. 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 So. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go and let's go and see what uh, the UK is crowing about here. Okay, so currently, uh, oh, let's change this to Great Britain also. Okay, so let's take a look here now.
Oh wait. Uh, let's do this. So this is. Okay. When's the first death in UK? You mean to tell me you didn't have any deaths? <laughs> you mean to tell me you had all of these cases up here and only two deaths? So let's say two zero one. So this this will be the first case. Okay, so let's come back over and take a look at uh, this now. For for the Great Britain, okay. So as you can see, they're averaging 4,552 cases per day and 167. The current, the current mortality rate is 6%. The average is 6%. You can see over here, they have had a very long period of the, where the mortality rate was less than average. Well, cases have this huge spike up in cases here. Now it's starting to level off. Okay. Now deaths, same thing. Deaths are spiking. I'm not quite sure what what uh, UK is crowing about. Unless they're talking about this little decline right here in the end. As Washington University says, de daily deaths is the single best indicator of the progress of a pandemic, and the, and the pandemic is continuing upwards. Okay, continuing upwards. You can zoom in, you can see a little bit of decrease in cases. And even maybe a little, little flattening on the deaths possibly here, okay? Yeah, maybe, maybe there's some good news. Okay, if we look at weekly cases, uh, you know, we had this, we have this from here, I mean, the cases started increasing right about here. It let up a little bit last week, and now we're here on the first, first day of the, the last week of November. Those are cases. We take a look at deaths. Deaths are a little volatile. Are they saying that there is no death? Well, yeah, they have a lot of days when there's no death, which I find really hard to believe. Okay, really hard, really hard to believe that there's no deaths when you had all these, when you had all these case, all these cases here. Okay. So so far, you can see the current. You see, the last week was uh, sometime in October. No deaths in this part here. Most interesting. Okay, we got cases. You can see that this is going to be the second number of cases. November is going to be the second, maybe the first uh, highest month in cases. And the deaths are staying relatively low, lower than it. So this will probably wind up being in third, the third highest month as far as deaths in the UK. Okay, let's see some. So I, I guess if there is a positive news, the the cases and deaths do seem to be leveling off a little bit. Cases are actually increasing a little bit. We we'll have to wait and see what happens. So let's take this. This concludes the. Uh, Okay, so this takes care of the of the uh, of the uh, of the countries. I just added a bonus there of the UK for you folks. 
So this concludes that portion of the report.